In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing 10 Apple Watch tips and tricks so you can take full advantage of it. But before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Now, a quick deal reminder, the Apple Watch Series 7 is currently on sale on Amazon. Make sure to check out the link down below in the description and in the comment section. So starting off, many of you don't know, but you can get rid of the red notification dot. I'm not sure about you, but this kind of bothers me a little bit. So make sure you do this. Go to settings, notifications, and disable notifications indicator. And that's it. It disappears. Now, if by any chance you are at the movies on theater mode and you want to discreetly check the time, you can do this by simply scrolling up or down using the crown. So scroll up, check the time, and quickly scroll down again. Also, if you're not sure how to enable or disable theater mode, the only thing you need to do is swipe up to go to the control center and press on this icon right here. So now theater mode is disabled. Now, if you've been scrolling down for a while and you want to go back to the top of the page quickly, you can simply tap on the top and that's it. Number four, if it's difficult for you to read the text on your Apple Watch, you can enable bold text. The only thing you need to do is go to settings accessibility, then enable bold text. And if by any chance you always have a hard time finding your applications, or if you simply don't like the grid view, you can quickly switch from grid to list view on your watch. The only thing you need to do is press on settings, press on app view and switch to list view. Now, if you go to the application page, all of them will be showing up in a form of list. If you want to go back to grid view, simply do the same thing again. So settings, grid view, and you're back. Number six, if you double press on the crown, you can switch between last open apps. So double press, we went back to settings, and double press again, we went back to the workout app. Now, I'm pretty sure that the majority of you love to customize your watch, right? So I'm gonna show you how I customize my watch faces in case you're having a hard time. The only thing you need to do is press and hold on the display and press on edit. As you can see for this watch face, I don't have the option to add any complications. However, if I scroll down, it will switch to this circular mode. And if I swipe left, it will show me the complications options. Then the only thing that I need to do is press on each corner and choose the complication that I would like to add. I really like to keep the battery of my watch showing up. So let's find the battery right here. Then I'm gonna switch this one to activity. I like to have the timer option and I also like to check the weather. So as soon as you're done, the only thing you need to do is press on the crown. Then press again and there you have it. Number eight, if by any chance you want to delete an application, there are two ways for you to do this. The first one is in case you're using the grid view. The only thing you need to do is press and hold on the top of any application and press on added apps. Now you will see this X sign showing on the left side of the app and then you can simply press on it and then press on delete app. And if you're using list view, you can also delete your applications. So simply do the same thing, press and hold on the screen, added apps and press on the X. Now, I'm pretty sure that the majority of you already know that if you swipe up, go to the control center and press on this icon right here, your iPhone will reproduce a sound. So if by any chance you're having a hard time finding it, this 
will help you. But what you may not know is that you can press and hold to ping your iPhone and turn on the flashlight. So press and hold. And this may help you find your iPhone in the dark, for example. And last but not least, number 10. If you like to use the Mickey or Mini watch face, you can tap on it and it'll tell you the time. It's 3.42. Good afternoon. Make sure you have the silent mode disabled in order for this feature to work. But also, if you're not using a Mickey or Mini watch face, if you're using a regular one, you can tap with two fingers for Siri to do the same thing. 1543. And these were 10 Apple Watch tips and tricks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.